Yeah, so here we are in the uh, glorious sign dungeon, and it's full of signs that are uh, taken from different Minecraft maps. Now, is there any particular rhyme, reason, or order to these? Uh, there's no order. There is rhyme and reason. Um, we have some visitors. Can we go to, to Peaceful? Yes. I, I guess they're not really bothering anybody. I, I mean, I consider that just background. At this All right. Don't All right, punch yeah. him. Okay, yeah. All right, yeah, they're just they're just viewing the signs. Isn't it nice to have an audience for your work? Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a good way to put it, even if they're spiders. Mm -hmm. um, so these signs uh, come from about 60,000 Minecraft maps, which I archived. Wow, um, 60,000. Did you do that by hand, or did you have people help you? Uh, I wrote, I wrote uh, programs to do it. Um, basically, I uh, got most of the maps that were posted to the uh, map forum in the official uh, Minecraft forum. Gotcha. So you just went to the uh, Minecraft forum slash maps or whatever with some mm -hmm. sort of web scraper and then said anything with a dot .zip or a dot .targz, I'm just going to grab. Yeah, and it was, it was pretty it, – well, it wasn't simple, but it was a lot easier than it could have been because most of the maps – are hosted at Mediafire, so it's just one uh, one stop for most of the maps. That's good. So as you can see here, apparently we're not supposed to play on Peaceful, at least not in the dungeon. Yeah, I guess I should obey my own sign. Mm -hmm. This one says teleport a random person. I'm too lazy <laughs> to type the command, but... <laughs> uh, to your left is a passage back to checkpoint 4. That's also good to know. I gotta say, I like these... Uh, if you do, post on the forum. I don't know what I do. Maybe this is some sort of backwards wedding proposal. So I guess I could probably wander through here for a while. How many? So you you said sixty thousand maps. Mm -hmm. And then how many signs from each map did you put into this dungeon? Uh, I basically um, this is a, a spinoff of a uh, project I did for Twitter called at Minecraft Signs. Um, hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn down these guys voices it's a little distracting yeah no problem um let me i'm uh, gonna do the same there yeah there we go yeah i normally keep the monster sounds pretty turned up so that way <laughs> i will not miss them yeah but uh yeah kill yourself at the void you will ah good take a minecraft and <laughs> minecart and ride i can't even read i'm just <laughs> you have entered on you have entered the other arm hmm will result in a lower score. <laughs> Try to speedrun this if you can, wool man. So, um, okay, so you said you had a Minecraft sign project on Twitter, which is probably yeah. at Minecraft Signs. At Minecraft Signs. Um, and the, the idea... Yeah, the idea is uh, every two hours it uh, posts one of the, the text of one of these signs that it found in the Minecraft map. And... Uh, basically, to keep the signs interesting, um, I divided them. I effectively divided them into three groups. Um, one group is signs like uh, red wool, um, wood things, signs that show up a lot. Um, what do you mean, wood things? Like a sign that that says wood things. That's that's the sort oh. of thing a lot of people would put on a sign so if i just showed you every sign in all 60,000 of these minecraft maps you'd see like two wood things hello three checkpoint one it would it would uh there's certain things that people put on signs a lot and because they put uh because they use these signs very often those signs aren't too interesting i would um, love to see a a map that's just a massive bar graph <laughs> of each of the, starting with the most popular signs, which I think you said number one was red wool. There's more signs uh, that say red wool than anything else? Uh, well, the most popular sign doesn't say anything. Oh, okay. Uh, the second most popular sign says two, and then the third most popular sign says one. <laughs> well, that's, so you go from nothing, then you double down, and then you raise it to the zeroth power? I don't know. Okay, well, let's, uh, what's the fourth most uh, common sign? Uh, three. Okay, well, yeah, so this might be a, a more interesting visual experience than me just asking you to count the numbers out of order. 
Um. <laughs> yeah, I, I only did the top five, but uh, it's it's dominated by just numbers and simple labels like wood or wool, um, just the sort of things people use uh, signs in, in in Minecraft to label things as opposed to communicate. Mm -hmm. So uh, what I did was I picked out the signs that were more on the communication side of things. Uh, so most of these you'll see are the author of the map um, talking to you, telling you something. Um, or the narrator. Sometimes there's a, a GLaDOS-type narrator who's, who's taunting you. Uh, but this sign right here is a, a directional sign. Mm -hmm. um, so they're not all uh, notes to the reader. Now, I, I know uh, you, you mentioned to me when we talked about this on Twitter that GLaDOS signs made up some massive percentage of the actual signs in Minecraft maps. Yeah, I was just guessing, but, I mean, here's one right here that's very glados -y. The um, next test subject's name will be 1.33999, that sort of thing. I can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I tried. <laughs> just fix it in post. Yeah, and um, now a maze. Perfect. Oh, I should go back and auto-tune that. Or yeah. I, I can run it through my little T-Pain app thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I made a sort of jokey estimate that it was 5% of all signs. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that's literally true, but it, it's it's a lot of the interesting signs are uh, sort of taunting, uh, taunting you. This door won't open. I, a lot of these seem to be about paintings as well. But I'm guessing that's because they're an object in Minecraft. And so anything that shows up in Minecraft will be something that comes up a lot in the uh, in the map signs. I don't know. Yeah, and that's actually one of the ways I distinguished between uh, signs that were labeling, say, a chest and signs that were telling you something um, was word frequency. I got to say, I know that this was not an intentional part of this dungeon, but the fact that the Latin glitches kind of fix themselves as you walk down here. It reminds me of like walking down a hallway and the fluorescent lights flip on as I go. It's kind of creepy and it works really well. Oh, well, I'm glad because I uh, spent a lot of time trying to fix the lighting glitches and uh, when I was generating this and I didn't get all of them. Um, but I didn't want it to be uniformly lit so you'll notice that some of the uh, some of the redstone lamps are burned out. Mm-hmm. Because um, I do, I did want some natural variation in the lighting. I do like that. So, okay, we, we of the four categories, we said mm -hmm. there's objects that like wood, wool, whatever. There's mm -hmm. directions. There's communication. What was the last one? Um, well, basically, what I did was I I filtered out the signs that uh, didn't contain uh, any interesting words. Mm -hmm. And the way I the way I did this was let's take this sign right here. Um, so it says, remember, don't take all once, save for if you die. Uh, so what I do is I would go through this word by word, and I'd say, um, okay, remember, I've never seen this word before, so that makes this sign interesting. Okay, that's awesome. I like this algorithm already. Um, so if there's a word I've never seen before, then the sign is interesting. And what I do is I go through every word, and I sort of, I have a tally for each word, mm -hmm. and I just uh, bump it up one. So... Uh, by the time I'm done with this sign, then I've got one point for each of remember, don't take all once, save for if you die. Mm -hmm. So then I come over here, um, hoping there's a duplicate word on here. There's not. Um, but over here it says six, leave feedback if you dare. So I saw if over here. Mm -hmm. So I look, at, I look here and I say, okay, uh, I've seen if once. Um, and now I've seen it twice, uh, but I've never seen the word leave or feedback before. So this sign is still interesting. Okay. But now I've seen leave and feedback. So if I see another sign that says leave, like leave now when you have the chance, uh, that sign's going to be less interesting than it was before. That makes sense. So progressively, as you go down this tunnel, it's going to get more and more boring because you've bumped up all the most interesting signs to the front. Um, yeah, that actually was the way I did this initially, and then um, I realized that uh, it was actually more fun if I shuffled them. Mm -hmm. uh, so these signs are in are in random order, but basically the way I did it was I would go through and I would see how 
uh, you know, boring or interesting a sign was based on the signs I'd already seen. And when you say that you were doing this, you're talking about a, a piece of software that you wrote, a script in Python, I'm assuming? Yeah, yeah, the script is doing my bidding. And um, so is this script based on a open source library that any young program and aspiring minds might be able to find on GitHub? Uh, I don't know if it's on GitHub. It's actual, It's absolutely based on uh, pre-existing libraries. Um, the one I would recommend is called Text Blob. Uh, text as in text, blob as in blob. Um, and it's got a lot of cool, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, and it's got a lot of cool uh, things for like uh, splitting up sentences, um, splitting up the words in sentences, um, stuff like that. Uh, so it's just for, for managing the basics of, you know, turning a bunch of text like you see on a sign into words um, and handling cases like, um, you know, doctor with a period, DR period. That's not actually Are you the tapping of... on your desk as you say in that? Yeah. I was you have a really nice microphone now, so don't, don't do that. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. Um, but like. You know, dr. period is the word doctor. It's not the end of a sentence. Mm -hmm. So that's the, that's the sort of thing you have to you have to deal with when you write this sort of program. And um, uh, text blob is really useful in uh, in dealing with that. Wow. So I feel like we've covered a lot of how you picked which signs you wanted to feature. And you said that the Twitter bot tweets two or uh, one sign every two hours. So that's twelve a day. How many signs do you have in the list of interest in signs? Um, so in the there's two lists of interesting signs. One of them you're looking at right now. Mm -hmm. um, the other is the one I'm using for the Twitter bot. And there's about 100,000 signs in each set. Um, okay. Basically, there's nothing wrong with these signs. It's just that by the time I got to them, I had seen every word in here uh, enough times that they weren't interesting anymore. Okay. But if you but if you just look at them now, you know if you if you haven't seen those other hundred thousand signs I've got queued up in the Twitter bot, they're perfectly interesting. If I'd seen these first, um, they'd be in the Twitter bot instead of uh, the ones that are in the Twitter bot. So since you have twenty two years worth of signs queued up in the Twitter bot, mm -hmm. um, are are you? What what's your long term goals for this project? Are you just gonna let it run forever, or is this the first of many installations where every five to seven years you'll develop some new spin on this and and push it out to the public? Uh, well, for signs, um, I'm probably gonna leave it as as is. Um, I am getting Minecraft maps from more sources, but uh, I don't think it's a good use of time to move that you know, 22 years up to 40 years or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but what I am what I am doing is other projects with the same uh, data. For instance, uh, there's another Twitter bot which a friend of mine made um, called Minecraft eBooks. Mm -hmm. And Minecraft eBooks was originally just posting quotes from the Minecraft wiki. Okay. Um, but uh, I, uh, I took it over. Mm -hmm. Sorry, bumped the mic. Uh, I took it over, and uh, now it puts quotes from the books that you find in these same Minecraft worlds. Oh, so it's literally Minecraft electronic books. Yeah, so all those uh, fan fiction books you wrote, um, if someone had uploaded uh, the Hermitcraft server to the Minecraft Maps forum, then I would have downloaded it, and then your uh, your fan fiction would be a candidate for showing up on the Minecraft eBooks. I, I gotta I say, I gotta say, one of the, every time I look at your Minecraft science thing, I, I'm like, ooh, I wonder if there's any signs from Vetches to me in here yet, because like <laughs> uh, I know that my name shows up. I can uh, I can I can look for you. No I no can... no, don't don't right. bump the list. Heart of the cards, you know. Um, I'll I'll soldier on. All right. Well, I'll look. I'll look, but I won't tell you. I mean, it's also possible that I'll just like run into one as I'm like walking down the hall here, although that's not super likely. I now, did see, I did see one back near the beginning that uh, was like, you know, thanks to Vex for inventing the CTM map. Yeah, that was a really good move on his part. I think everyone is, is that's, uh, I'm surprised you didn't have that as like <laughs> the like number, the number three sign. Thanks, Vex. 
Saddle up your pig and be the last man standing. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> that's some sort of pig cowboy map, I guess. Yeah, maybe a, a, a pig joust. Or maybe it's a map that's full of really comfortable chairs, and <laughs> you're just like it's a battle of will. You're, yeah, you, everybody's you got... trying not to go sit on the comfortable chairs because they're on uncomfortable pigs. Mm-hmm. I mean that saddle sore. That's no fun. Um, challenge thirteen dash two. That sounds like, uh, I don't know, a Mario world that just kind of buffer overflowed or something. Uh, let's see. Don't worry. In the event you activate the explosives. I got to say, the thing that always gets me is how some of these just, like, are the beginning of a thought. And then I'm like, but I want to know what happens next. It really stimulates the imagination. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's really fun to uh, it, to visualize um, what where you think this is in a map. Yeah, like this one. It released the monsters and turned. Did did it like turn around? Did it turn something else? Did it? I, I mean, I turn don't... on its creator. Yeah. It, oh, boom! There, there you go. In See? case of jam, well, you know, why should we worry if there's jam? That sounds great. Yeah, I mean, it's like it should say in case of no bread plus jam. <laughs> it's like, oh well, now we need to go to the minecart to reset it to get to the bread store. You know. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you wander into an old mine. I must find a way out. Oh, here's a colored sign. Ooh. How to make colored text. Did that get, <laughs> um, d did those color symbols uh, end up uh, degrading the quality of a lot of colored signs because there were so many of them? Um, there's actually not very many colored signs, but I did write code to handle them. Um, so very rarely on Minecraft signs you'll see... Uh, sign this in italics or mm -hmm. bold or um, you know how they sometimes have they do the the thing where the letters keep shifting mm -hmm. and it's like this blur of letters yeah um, I wrote some code to simulate that unfortunately you can't do colored text on Twitter so uh, there's no colors but um, well, I did write code to handle it it seems like one way that you could possibly do that if you wanted to really you know build on this project and take it somewhere crazy is use your map maker here mm -hmm. and set up some sort of screen capture thing and just have a have the camera like move down the hallway <laughs> and take a different <laughs> screenshot and then cue those up on Twitter. Now yes, I know Put that you could write dolly. Yeah, you could write a Photoshop or an Adobe Illustrator batch script to just plug in the font and whatnot. But that's that's not the spirit of what we're doing here. Like um, well, I could, um, you know, I could actually load the map and just position, you know, I, I open up the map. Uh, I think it would be a little hard to position me programmatically, but in theory, I could just put myself right in front of the sign and then take a screenshot. And then you'd see it in the actual map. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, and that could even be something that you do, um, like, I mean, for... 12 a day or whatever you, you could actually probably manually do that you wouldn't want to <laughs> but like that's the sort of thing like oh hey we got a new intern uh let's have him uh you know take fifteen thousand screenshots today just yeah new new intern here at uh the uh, minecraft research labs yeah now i'm guessing uh this was not part of uh your day job this is just something you did for fun yeah, yeah, this is uh, this is just something I did for fun. Um, but the uh, the map that I showed you uh, last time we we did a video um, mm -hmm. was a big hit. Um, I showed it I showed it to some uh, a, a class of kids. They really liked it. Um, so it's uh, uh, I wouldn't say Minecraft is part of my day job yet, but I think it may become an aspect of my day job because uh, Paul and I are kind of the kind of the experts in the group well I, I know our library people in nashville are also doing a lot of minecraft stuff like it's just it's a great fit for education yeah um, absolutely so I, I gotta say we talked a lot about the signs we talked a lot about the twitter um about the scrape and i'm guessing you just read from like the text there's some sort of text file associated with the maps you downloaded you just um, pulled from you didn't have to like load the maps up in mc edit or something oh no i i i loaded them up um i, I didn't u quite use mc edit but uh i used um pi mc level which is the library mc edit uses mm -hmm. um so yeah i loaded up these maps 
and I looked at every single chunk. Um, and uh, there's a there's a data structure in each chunk that says the entities for the chunk. So stuff like signs, uh, the contents of uh, of chests, uh, the text of books. Uh, spawners. So I just go through all those and I'd say, is this a sign? Is this a sign? Is this a sign? And when I found a sign, I, then I would write the text of the sign or the text of a book uh, so that I could do Minecraft ebooks. I'd write that to a text file. Um, but no, I was loading huge binary binary files and, and sucking the text out. You've um, loaded more chunks of Minecraft maps than probably any other human being alive. Maybe I think probably people who who work for Mojang have have probably loaded more. Okay, yeah, that's but, probably true. But I'm just gonna say, like, whatever computer you're using has probably <laughs> experienced more Minecraft than almost any other computer in the world. Yeah, I think that's probably true. Um, it's it's done. I I don't even want to guess, but over a billion chunks. I love this one. Welcome back. Seth Bling here, and I have made a pointless... <laughs> I mean, that could be anything he's ever made. No, I'm kidding, Seth. <laughs> Seth is great. I'm probably going to see him in like four or five days. I hope he doesn't punch me. Uh, <laughs> um, speaking well, of which, we got to get yeah. you down for play on con sooner or later. But, uh, That'd be cool. Yeah. Um, so anyway, let's see. Uh, so how long did it take? I'm assuming that you, you set the whole batch to pretty much run at once or did you break the 60,000 maps down into like 10,000 map chunks? Um, I, had a, I had it running on a, on uh, two of my computers, my desktop and my laptop. So mm -hmm. they were both, they were both running at once. Um, it was, was this just, a multi-core process or was it? I'm not sure. I mean, they're multi-core computers. I don't know how efficiently that was used. Gotcha. Um, but my main, uh, you know, it's not, it wasn't exactly urgent. So, uh, my main concern was making sure it, it did it without crashing um, and not uh, caring too much about how long it takes. Mm -hmm. um, although uh, I'm going to I'm probably going to keep doing this uh, just for other projects that are not Minecraft signs. And uh, at that point, I'll probably try to try to speed it up. How, how long did it take to run the 60,000 maps? Um. It's all kind of a blur. I would say two or three weeks. Wow. So, okay, so if you had only one computer, it probably would have taken like a month and a half, maybe yeah, a month. Yeah, I'll say a month. Wow. That's that's a lot of computer time. I mean, that's that's pretty intense. we got to set you up with some sort of like Amazon AWS hookup or something so you can just batch this. Although it would probably come back with like a $20,000 charge, so maybe don't put this in yeah it would, it would it would be pretty expensive i mean this way i just pay for the electricity yeah oh that's that's great so we talked about like all the pieces that went into collecting this but we haven't mm -hmm. talked about actually rendering the map how did you create the actual map that we're in right now i'm guessing you didn't just walk along here and tap it especially since you said you have no interns no i didn't um so let's take the space from one sign on the left wall to another sign on the left wall Sure. Um, so I wrote a I wrote a script that uses uh, PyMC level, which again, amazing library. I would not pretty much nothing I've shown you would be possible without PyMC level. Um, but basically, it, uh, it it sort of extrudes this hallway like it's like it's filling a Twinkie or something. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just you know there's a there's a, a line for the floor. There's the walls. There's the ceiling. Um, every three uh, steps, there's a redstone lamp that's usually on, but it might be off. Um, every stone brick, it's like an 80% 80, 80 chance of normal stone stone brick, and then there's a chance of the cracked or the mossy. Mm -hmm. um, there's the, the red carpet. So if you, if you think of this as like a giant uh, cake or Twinkie, um, it just builds it one uh, slice of cake at a time. Wow. This um, is and crazy. Then, so I, I built all that, and then I just uh, did another pass, went down the hall, place a sign, place a sign, place a sign. Uh, and then I saved it as a Minecraft world. Now, one thing I, I got to say, I like a lot of this. Like, I pretty much like everything about this. But all right. I'm, I'm somebody who I have to always try and, and turn things up to 11. Uh, although, honestly, I think that this project, if anything, could be designed... 
if anything could be cited as, I don't know, 11 like, this is a pretty 11 exemplary project. Like, you really took this further than anyone else ever could, probably. But I'm going to nitpick. <laughs> okay. Okay, so some of these will say, like, there's lava to your right or something like that. Uh-huh. Did you consider um, possibly when a sign says something is somewhere in relation to the sign, mm-hmm. place in that block or whatever nearby? Uh, no, I never considered that because I was um, I was thinking of the basically the signs as little tiny poems. Mm. So you know when you read uh, the the poem about the red wheelbarrow, you don't you you don't feel ripped off if there's not an actual red wheelbarrow next to it. See, I, uh, maybe I, you maybe you do. Well, okay. So here's the thing. Somebody comes to me and says, "Hey, Joe, uh-huh. I hear that you have a space available to demonst- to show off some poems, and we want to get people in here to drink and buy them or whatever." Okay. Right. So okay, we're gonna do an exhibition of these poems. You know, if, if it's like, okay, this is a poem about a red wheelbarrow. Well, you know, is there something we could do with that? Could we have the poem printed on a book that like a wheelbarrow is looking at, like underneath a blanket with a flashlight? <laughs> is it is there something there you know um i just like i said i just like to think wh- how could we push this further so then when like we re- decide that's like not a good idea because it's hard to like get under the blanket to actually read the poem on the book that we printed okay you know what i don't feel bad i have no regrets because we at least we thought about it we tried you know okay well i mean we've okay thought, d- we've thought about it now yeah, we thought about it. Now this is actually perfect. Um, this is this is fine. Um, don't you know? You don't need to. Uh, you don't need to tweak it. Um, so, just out of curiosity, though, as a curator here, mm-hmm. what is your vision for? Like, I think you have a pretty good idea of what you expect people to do when they see this on Twitter. You expect mm-hmm. them to kind of either chuckle or think about it, and then either like and retweet or whatever. Right. Mm-hmm. That's that's kind of the experience that you've had making other Twitter bots and whatnot. You made the real human praise bot, uh, a bunch of other things like with this, what is your imagined experience for a player? Um, well on Twitter, uh, Minecraft signs, it's, you know, there's one every two hours for, for 20 years. And that's, that's like the marathon. Mm -hmm. Whereas this is more like the sprint, you know, there's, there's pretty much the same number of signs in this one map as you will see in 20 years of following the bot. So, you know, you can just run down here and see as much as you want, um, until you get tired of it. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's the, it's sort of for people who, who want to indulge instead of having it, uh, spooned out one at a time. Um, and also just, I, I came up with this idea because I felt bad for these signs because they're they're pretty much just as good as the ones that are in the bot. It's just by the time I got to them, I'd seen every word on this sign five times already, so it wasn't interesting anymore. Um, so I just wanted a, an alternate way to showcase uh, these signs. Okay, well, the publicist inside me, Leonard, mm-hmm. says these signs are just as good as the other ones. In fact, you probably could have broken it down into four groups of equally good signs of 10,000, right? Okay. Then, after launching the first bot, create several clones that you are very displeased that people are making based on your hard work. Uh Uh-huh. And then just offset the time they post by a half hour or so. Maybe have one of them have a collision just because, you know, you're not in charge and they're ripping you off. Right. And so that way, people can determine their own level of Minecraft sign involvement on Twitter by, you know, uh, and also see this kind of performance art. Although you don't really seem like a drama guy. Like, you're not out here making waves. You're just, you're just the ocean. Like, the, it's just all here and it's all going to swallow you sooner or later. This is a lot of signs. Yeah, I mean, that's why I show up in your videos and I don't make my own videos, honestly. <laughs> this is this is like, th- this is beautiful, though. Like, I love the project. I follow it on Twitter. 
Um, I, when I wake up and I'm, well, not right when I wake up because I have to, you know, get to the bus. But once I'm on the <laughs> bus, I actually go back and I look at the signs from when I was sleeping. So once again, the link is in the description below. It's uh, at Minecraft Signs. And I'm going to try and get links to this map, which will be available for download, you said, Leonard? Yeah, I'm going to put it up on my site. So you should be able to just download it. And, you know, we're going in one direction. There's a whole other direction you could go in and see totally different signs. A whole other direction right when I'm at the end? Oh, you're not uh, looking at the sign. This is a joke. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. Right Let's here. Let's do that again. All right, take two. A whole other direction right when I'm at the end? <laughs> There we go. Uh, so it's a reference and a pun. That's very nice. Yeah, I, I'm frustrating. Make sure you sprint. I am red. I'd like to think that this is an orange is the new black reference, but I don't know. Lever uh, is reset score. So many weird, weird. Never mind this here, one, though. Here's a GLaDOS one. Hello, subject 8775. This is all a test, so don't. Yeah, I'll clean that up and post. <laughs> I, that That's one of those lies that we tell ourselves. It's like, no, it's just going to sound exactly like it did there. Yeah, if you really intended to, you wouldn't say that, because then you got to clean that up and post, too. Oh, yeah, it's just I'm making more work for myself. Well, the, the real irony is that the people will wonder. They'll be like, wait, was it actually worse before? <laughs> <laughs> like, did he just read it like, hello, subject 8775. This is all a test, so don't. Well, that one was actually kind of better. Yeah, was it? yeah, you weren't trying as hard. So it was more natural. Yeah, dang, man. Now I do. I don't know. All, I, and I'm conflicted, like Glados. It's it's uh, we've all just kind of come full circle here. Um, so yeah, this is great. I'm looking forward to seeing your other new projects. And uh, so definitely, if you have any links, like if that eBooks thing is up on Twitter already. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is. Yeah, uh, get I'll, that I'll to give me. You the link. Great, and we'll get that out to people. Is there anything else that you think that I have missed? Because there's so much here. I'm a little overwhelmed. Is there anything that I forgot to ask? Um, no, I just I just want to say that there's there's more things coming. Um, not quite in this vein, but using the same uh, using the same data set. Uh, so I hope to be doing more videos with you soon. Well, I gotta say this is wonderful as more of a work of art in Minecraft. <laughs> Until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee, joined by Leonard Richardson. Any final words, Leonard? Take care, everybody. And keep adventuring. <laughs>